copyright claim on YouTube. Let's talk about it for a second. Because when you look at up on Google, so for example, if I go here on Google, type copyright claim on YouTube videos, you see a lot of videos, but those videos are old. And it seems these people, they do know what they are talking about last year, not right now. And you see a lot of things change. The thing is, when you look for copyright claim and if you don't understand what it is, just look at the source. So Google, YouTube. YouTube is part of Google. So yeah, supportgoogle.com. What is a content ID claim? Content ID claim is the same as YouTube claim. You will see it soon enough. So I will press here. You come to the source and they will explain it step by step. What is it on content ID? And when you get a content ID on your video, that means it's a copyright claim on your video. That's technically it. So if you see copyright claim on your video, it just means a content ID claim in YouTube's video. So technically, here you have the explanation. I'm not going to discuss with this because you can read. Seriously, you can read. The only thing that I'm going to discuss is, is the following. Because they say something in here that I don't agree with and you don't have to agree with me but think about it for a second and create your own opinion yeah and if you look at this question am i in trouble if my video has a content id claim content id claim is a copyright claim the reason why you look up on google or on youtube copyright claim on youtube video you're asking yourself am i in trouble so if you look at the answer they say probably not you are in trouble i can tell you that you're in trouble you just don't know it yet so content id usually mean we found content on a youtube channel that someone else own okay yeah copyright owners are the ones who decide so not youtube copyright owners are the, the one who decide whether the people can reuse the copyright content so what does it mean? If you use someone's copyright without their permission, they can come after you. Even if they don't come after you today, they will come after you tomorrow. You don't know. If they do know you used it and they want to sue you, they're going to sue you. YouTube cannot do anything about it. It's not like YouTube is giving you advice here. So technically you are in, pro uh, in yeah, let's say in trouble. So yes, I agree you are in trouble, but... I wouldn't say probably not. Most of the time, people will not do anything because it's in their benefit. But if you would you rather not know if someone's going to take action or would you rather know if they're going to take action or not? Imagine your video hit or uh, went viral. They're going to take action. They'll be like, hey, you're using my content. If it doesn't, they're not going to take action. You never know. And that's the thing. You are in trouble, technically. When you create a video, most time you create a video with the purpose to make it go viral or let a lot of people see it. So when I look at this, if you continue, they often allow their content to be used on YouTube videos in exchange for having ads run on those videos. That's an option. If they do that, you don't have to worry about that. Ads may play before the video or run, the running during it. If the video is longer than eight minutes, that's technically it, yeah? If copyright owners don't want their content reused, they can block a video according to the system or restrict certain platforms, okay, yeah? So um, this is the thing that you can do after. What I'm trying to say is with this video, uh, if you're looking for information about copyright claims and you will find this information just on YouTube. You see YouTube help. You can find information on that. Sometimes you see things that they say probably not. It's their opinion. I also have my opinion. But it's up to you to create your own opinion. And think about it for yourself. Would you, would you rather know if someone's going to after you or not? It's up to you. But here you will find the information. If you want to know more about it, you will find the link in the description that goes to the Discord. In the Discord, you can ask me a question about it directly in the channel, text us. So if you have questions, feel free to ask me. And like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.